सो फ्रेंड्स इन आवर एम यू क्लास फॉर वर्ल्स दे आर इज अ टॉपिक कॉल्ड फ्यूल पम्प ऑन दिस टॉपिक दे आर मेनी क्वेश्चन आज सो आई हैव कॉल्ड ऑल द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू दिस टॉपिक सो द क्वेश्चन आर एज फोलोस ओवरऑलिंग ऑफ फ्यूल पम्प चेक्स ऑन फ्यूल पम्प चेकिंग फ्यूल पम्प इंजेक्शन टाइमिंग हाउ टू एडजस्ट फ्यूल पम्प इंजेक्शन टाइमिंग सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो माई ओल्ड चैनल बट इन हेल्प फूड वॉज सस्पेंडेड सो आई हैव मेड दिस न्यू चैनल सो दैट यू गेट हेल्प from my videos so i will upload all the videos one by one so moving towards our topic overhauling procedure of fuel injection pump or fuel pump so i have taken this video from yanmar so that you can understand about overhauling of the fuel pump so first procedure is that we will dismantle the fuel pump from the engine for that we need some tools so first we will keep ready all the tools whichever we need for that is mentally the fuel pump so this is the tool which we require so as you can see first we will remove all the pipes we will loosen the bolts of delivery valve as you can see now we'll use that tightening nut of the fuel pump using the socket wrench now we will remove fuel rack from the fuel pump after this we will take out the pump and we will take it to the workshop for dismantling the fuel pump so for dismantling the fuel pump we need some special tools so before dismantling we will read the manuals about the tools how to use and what are the parts and all as you can see these are the parts which are inside the fuel pump so this is the drawing out plunger barrel known as drawing out tool for dismantling the fuel pump so now we will make fuel pump upside down now we will move toward the overhauling of the pump by attaching our drawing out tool and in between we are having a supporting bolt so we will use this supporting bolt to press the plunger guide so that we can remove sir clip from the plunger guide so as you can see with the help of a uh, screw driver we are removing the sir clip from the plunger guide now we will remove the drawing out tool from the fuel pump as you can see with the help of supporting bolt at the middle due to which the plunger guide will rise up because of the spring force now you can see after removing the tool the plunger guide is out so now we will remove this plunger guide spring sheet plunger spring retainer and pinion after this detach the rack bolt and remove the rack now we will remove the deflector which are set at the center of the fuel injection pump there are two deflectors one at input and another at the spill port these are to save the casing from the high pressure fuel so we should replace it regularly now we will detach the delivery valve so be aware that the delivery valve parts are too small so not to lose them at the time of overhauling now we will detach the barrel holder by removing the bolts of the barrel holder and we will remove the barrel from the pump body as you can see the method of removing it 
So now we will remove this soldering which is placed at the parallel position of the fuel pump. And this completes the overhauling of our fuel pump. So now we should do some checks on the parts of fuel pump. We will clean all the parts with the help of diesel oil and wash them properly and we will check all the abnormality or the scratches on the part and keep in mind that we will change all the o-ring at the time of every overhaul of fuel pump. So for the assembly after checking all the parts we will assemble the parts as you can see in the inverse direction we will put the o-ring. Assemble the barrel body back as we have disassembled. Now for tightening of the bolt we should use a specified tightening torque which is given in the manual. Assemble the parts of delivery ball. Same for delivery wall, we will use a specified tightening torque given in the manual. Install the reflector back. Align the set marks of rack, pinion and plunger at the time of assembly. As you can see the marks are provided on each part. Put the rack back in its position and tighten the bolt. Now make the fuel pump 180 degree upside down and put the pinion back in its position by aligning the set mark. Insert the retainer and the spring. Now put back the plunger in its position with the set mark. Apply some lube oil on the plunger guide and put it back in the fuel pump so that it smoothly goes in. After assembling all the parts of the fuel pump, we will check that the rack is moving smoothly. Now this completes the overhauling of our fuel pump. Now we will take the fuel pump back to the engine from our workshop and we will attach all the pipes and we will install the fuel pump on the engine. So as the installation of the fuel pump is finished on the engine, after that we have to check the fuel injection timing of the pump. For checking the fuel injection timing, we will rotate the flywheel for a mark provided on the flywheel and we will check the fuel pump window in which 
the line on the plunger and the fuel pump body should coincide with each other so friends if injection timing is not proper then there are adjusting screw or nut at the same position at the back side of this plate so i'll use that to adjust the timing so friends there is one more question asked that uh, how you will adjust the fuel pump timing for adjusting the fuel pump timing we can use two methods by adding or reduction of shims on the pump face or by turning the plunger up and down by the adjustment of screw or nut on the pump roller guide so this screw or nut is at the back side of this plate so we will use the spanner and we will adjust the fuel pump timing so this first method is not accepted by all the surveyors and this second nut or screw method is accepted by all the surveyors so please tell the second method to the surveyor so i will share the proper video about the adjustment of the fuel pump timing because right now i have to repeat that video i am not having it so friends if this video was helpful please like and share the video to your friends and subscribe the channel marine helpboard so that all can get some help